Hi, this is Cody, your local Silver Train Steel Tech from Homeco Lumber and Hardware. Today I'm going to teach you how to do some proper maintenance on your chainsaw. First thing I wanted to go over was tightening your chain correctly into the correct tension. First thing you need to do is loosen both of your hex nuts on your side clutch cover here to allow your chain and your bar to move freely. Once you have both of these hex nuts loosened up, you can stick your basic scrunch into the tensioning stud right here, turn it clockwise until you get to a proper tension to where you see about the bottom of three drive links and no more than that. And that seems to be a little loose, so I'm going to tighten it a little bit more. And all while I'm doing this, I'm holding up on the bar nose itself so it does not drop below. And that way you can get your proper chain tension right there. Also, some bar and chain maintenance here. If you need to ever change or replace your bar or chain, loosen up your hex bolts to completely get your side clutch cover off. Now, if you were replacing a new chain, or you just got it sharpened, so you were about to flip it over, a main important thing to do is take a tool and actually scrape out any dirt or debris that could be caught in your bar groove. By doing this, it allows any oil to freely get to any of the rivets up at the front sprocket, so that way you actually have proper lubrication all the way throughout your chain and your bar. You also want to make sure that you clean off both of the oil parts, ports on both sides of the bar, so that way oil can actually freely enter your bar groove right here. While you also have your clutch cover off, it is very important to clean any dirt, oil, and debris that might build up underneath this clutch cover, as well as around your sprocket and your oil port right here as well. When installing a new chain and bar, you do want to make sure that you have your teeth going in the proper direction, which on all of our steel chains, there is an arrow to indicate the proper direction for that chain. You want to fit it and make sure that all the drive links are inside the actual sprocket grooves correctly so that way it does not come off and does not slip when you start to run it. Attach your side cover and tighten your hex nuts. And again, while you are tightening your hex nuts, you are checking for proper tension in your chain. All right, so after you've worked on your bar and chain, cleaned up all of that, some other basic maintenance after you're done cutting is actually cleaning underneath your shroud and your air filter. So you wanna make sure that you loosen up all the bolts on the shroud in order to be able to take this off. And another important feature is you do wanna make sure that your throttle control is all the way down to the full choke to allow you to get this out. Now the first thing to inspect when you have your shroud off is how dusty it is around your air filter right there. Before you take your air filter off though, we do recommend that you clean any dust that could be around your air filter that could fall into your intake manifold there. So after you've actually cleaned out any dust around your air filter, it is now safe to take your air filter off and you can now maintenance this. You can use a soft nylon brush to wipe off any dirt and debris on the outside of your air filter. However, we do not recommend using an air compressor as it will start to tear the fleece and allow dirt and debris into areas that you do not want that dirt and debris to get into your chainsaw there. After you have cleaned your air filter, you do want to make sure you put it on and it is sealed completely 
until it clicks. All right, so another important feature to look for is cleaning out any dirt and debris that could be in your cooling fins of your cylinder, as well as any dirt and debris behind your rewind starter as your flywheel pushes up air and naturally cools your cylinder as it's actually running. While you're on the side of your rewind starter, it's also very important to check your pull start cord, make sure that it's actually not frayed and not cut, because if that actually breaks in the field, you are going to have a hard time starting your saw. Now that that is complete, we can put our main shroud back on. Again, making sure your master control is down so that way it actually fits in. And we can just hand tighten our bolts right here. Another important thing that I want to talk about is correct fueling for your steel product. If it requires a mixture, we require 50 to 1, and you want to mix 89 octane or better with our HP Ultra Full Synthetic Two Stroke Blend. Now when filling your fuel cap, you do want to make sure that you clean off any dirt and debris that could be built up around it, as you don't want it to actually get into your fuel tank. Also, when you are in the field, and your saw is hot, you want to make sure that you slowly vent this cap by opening it and twisting it before you actually take it off completely. Also, another part and thing to remember is to wipe off any dirt and debris that can be built up around your bar oil cap as well. I like to actually check the, my bar oil reservoir when I'm filling up gas to make sure that I don't run out of bar oil in the middle of any cuts, potentially drying out or damaging your bar and chain. Another important feature too is to not put straight fuel in your steel chainsaw, as that will ruin your piston and your cylinder. Thank you.